think that I think that the problem that you're you're uh, touching on is is actually a larger problem in, in or challenge in investigations, which is and it and it's something that I think that um, Jillian alluded to and 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 Sarita touched on as well, which is how how do you how do you focus your investigation and how do you how do you strike the balance between focus on the one hand and broad and broad on the other. You want it focused because you can't you can't investigate an entire situation and you have to you have to be efficient and you have to try to zero in on potential targets or potential crimes that you might want to prosecute. You can't just investigate forever. On the other hand, you have to it, it, you have to be broad enough so that you're getting the truth and you're getting a full picture and you're not falling into what Jillian referred to as confirmation bias. Um, and and that that's a general challenge in investigations and it's a particular one with respect to intermediaries. And you have to be mindful in using intermediaries of of that challenge. You you cannot the thing you cannot do is set is task intermediaries to get a certain kind of evidence. Um, what, what you can do is task them to contact a, 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 a victim community um, uh, in order to uh, establish communications with that community and be able to bring witnesses out of that community so that they can be interviewed safely um, and with integrity in some other location. Um, so in intermediaries are, are a process tool to overcome challenges in, in, in the investigation, um, but they shouldn't shape the substance of the investigation. And that's the measures that I, I tried to uh, indicate are, are ways of making sure that they don't, they don't direct the investigation, they don't taint it, they don't shape it. They merely make it possible to uh, locate witnesses and interview them. Yes, I mean, the kind of training uh, that, that would be given to an intermediary, uh, that would be quite useful to know. When, when we've done cases, I've always insisted there's been what we call a protocol or a direction document that says what they can do and what they can't do. And they drive us from the airport to point A, where we're going to meet somebody for an interview and then move us to a place where we may want to photograph, et cetera, et cetera. But it's my case, I'm, I'm driving it. Um, what do you do as a prosecutor? How, how, how do you man manage them? So I, I, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned this because I, I think intermediaries is not just a prosecution tool. It's used by, it's used by the defense. Um, it's used by the victim representatives. They also use intermediaries to identify victims and, and, and talk to them. Um, I, think there, I think there are two things you do and you, and you actually touched on them. One is, um, one is training. So you have to spend some time with the intermediary and explain what the process is, what, the, what, the, what their job is, what the risks are and instill in them um, so, uh, an understanding of what the roles are and what the and what the objective is of the investigation. And of course, if in that process you sense that the person that the intermediary, the proposed intermediary, is not uh, is not um, uh, on board with that uh, program, then then you shouldn't use that person. And then the second thing is you have, as you say, you have you you should have a. Uh, a, a protocol. You should you in in many cases you actually script it. You script for the uh, intermediary what they're going to say. You say, okay, I I'd like you to go into this community um, and speak with these individuals, and this is what I want you to say, and this is all that I want you to say. Um, and then that is how you make an, a, a contact with the witness. And then when you speak with the witness, you confirm that um, that that's all that was said. Um, I, I should say that in this in this respect, there's nothing extraordinary about intermediaries as an investigative tool. All investigative tools, um, whether it's talking to witnesses, whether it's collecting documents, um, you have to uh, constantly be checking to make sure that your 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 that there's no bias, that there's no um, taint of the evidence. Um, that you're uh, preserving it carefully, that you're following protocols. 
So in this regard, intermediaries are a tool like many other investigative tools. It's an important tool, but it has to be done carefully um, and properly um, and, and in a way that is regulated to ensure the integrity of the process.